Okay, so that goes into a category of called emotional stress. I'm going to leave that to last. So remember, no doctor can treat what they can't diagnose. So if you circled some of those things on it, it says back pain, neck pain, headaches, asthma, allergies, constipation, urinary tract, all these symptoms that people have, there's, this stress is affecting them different ways. So the, the first stress I want you to understand is something called physical stress. Everybody learned something already? Good, I'm done. <laughs> so the first one is physical stress. It affects your body. What is physical stress? Something we're not, hopefully we don't have to do soon, which is this. Shoveling? Physical. Physical. Physical stress is bending, turning, twisting, slips, fall downs, car accidents. That's physical stress. Lifting chairs, lifting kids, lifting infants, lifting groceries, moving beds, lifting laundry, carrying books. That is all physical stress. How many of you here feel some type of symptom when you're doing physical stress? Okay, the majority of the room, all right. So that's correct. So that physical stress can cause a pain in your body, yes? You feel it. One, I'm gonna tell you, it's, uh, you shouldn't always feel those symptoms all the time. And if you're feeling them often, at least more than the last three months, that's a sign that there's something wrong, okay? Another type of stress is, how about this one? How, what was the weather like yesterday? Excuse me? What was the weather like yesterday? Uh, extremely hot. Hot, was it humid? Yeah. Is today humid? Here's the second type of stress. Weather condition. What? Weather condition. Envi environmental? Environment. Environment. Okay, so temperature stress can affect your body. When it's humid, the atmospheric pressure, the barometer changes. It makes it difficult for people to breathe. That's important because oxygen is the yes. most important nutrient that you get to your body. Without oxygen, our bodies suffocate. No, actually, I'm glad that you mentioned this. Yesterday, I had a meeting with uh, a police officers, a couple of police officers, and they were shooting in uh, Patterson, and someone got killed. And they said the weather, yes. it's in carry, yeah, it, it increased it this. It, it surprised right. me. So, weather, weather, understand this. When it's cold out, what does your body do? It's cold. Your body constricts and relaxes, constricts and relaxes. You're actually shivering because our body's intelligent and it's increasing blood supply. To